Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your weather forecast. I'm Mr. G, your meteorologist, and I hope you guys are having a good start to your work week as I'm with you right now on your Monday evening. And we're going to be talking about your day tomorrow, Tuesday, and the rest of the work week as we talk about the next series of storms that's going to be moving from the west to the east across the United States. We had those severe weather, those severe thunderstorms across the Southern Plains through Texas and Oklahoma yesterday. We saw some very large tornadoes. That derecho came through. It dropped winds in excess of 115 miles per hour, which is about a Category 2 hurricane. So we saw uh, unprecedented, unprecedented severe weather across the Southern Plains last night. And let us not forget Friday where we saw that historic storm in California that dropped over five feet of snow over the mountains around L.A., and over, over 10 inches of rain. We also saw snow in parts of the city, right? Fontana, San Bernardino, the Inland Empire. We saw snow stick. I mean, literally, snow accumulated on the ground in the city north of Los Angeles. We saw snow in Hollywood. Wow, it was unbelievable. Even snow on the beach. Snow on the beaches of Southern California that stuck. So that was amazing. I'm telling you, I was freaked out. This is why I love the weather. So let's move on with this weather forecast where we got another storm that's going to be moving on to the West Coast. And we're going to be seeing heavy rain along the coastal sections, heavy snow in the Sierra Nevada and in Northern California once again. We can see snow measured in feet and we're going to be picking up a few more inches of rain down across Los Angeles down to San Diego again and through Central and Northern California we're going to be seeing that heavy rainfall as we have a very powerful jet stream that's also going to spread some snow showers in through the Central and Northern Rockies as well but as that storm makes its way out of the southwest and into the Rockies, we're going to be seeing snow across this region tomorrow and into Wednesday. But we got a very strong jet stream that's going to be coming down out of the north. And that energy is going to be pulling a lot of warmth off of the Gulf of Mexico. And with that warmth, it's going to be a lot of moisture. So a lot of moisture latent thunderstorms will be moving across uh, the southern United States, the southern plains again and across the lower Mississippi Valley and up into the Ohio Valley, we're going to be seeing heavy rain and thunderstorms. And heavy snow is going to fall across the Northern Plains and the Great Lakes once again. Minnesota is going to be getting hit with some uh, pretty solid snow as well as into Wisconsin and into Michigan. But we're going to be seeing a little bit of warmth across the east as well. But that's not going to last because we have that next storm that's going to be headed your way as this trough makes its way across the east. And then when we get into Thursday and Friday, here is that trough is going to be moving into the central part of the United States, the central and southern plains. There is that snow going to be spreading across the central plains into Oklahoma and Kansas and up through Missouri, through Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and into Michigan. And then we're going to start to see some of that snow through Pennsylvania and upstate New York as well. And it's also going to bring a fair share of freezing rain and some ice into the northeast as well. So another uh, bad weather week again that we're going to be dealing with uh, some very treacherous travel conditions and a lot of problems with the weather. Look how much snow we're going to see across the Sierra Nevada this week. We'll we can see upwards to 72 inches in some locations down across uh, the Sierra Nevada. And we're going to also be seeing that snow into Southern California once again, where we could pick up as much as a foot through Wrightwood and Big Bear once again. So some more heavy snow across the Southern California mountains, as well as some rainfall. Some thunderstorms might even be possible as well with some of that stormy weather. So it's a, a very nasty situation, but we're not going to be seeing uh, that historic stuff that we saw earlier in the week. And there is my mouser there, there. 
All right. All right. So, all right. So as we move on, here we are. As we take a look on Wednesday, here is our low pressure going to be across the um, the southwest there of California and Nevada. But we're going to be seeing that snow through the Rockies, snow in the Sierra Nevada, rain across the deserts, but heavy rain down here along the coastal sections through central and into southern California, where we could be picking up a few more inches of heavy rainfall. Here is that snow across Southern California, 6 to 12 inches in Big Bear. The Hong Kong Cajon Pass can pick up 1 to 3 inches, 3 to 6 inches down in Idlewild. And we're going to be seeing snow across the Tahoe Pass through where we can see 3 to 6 inches of of snow here across the uh grapevine all right so that heavy snow is going to continue and here we are as we get into wednesday snow also is going to be going through the rockies so from the cascade through the rockies the northern rockies and down across the central and southern rockies and even into uh northern arizona flagstaff once again has been seeing a lot of snow this winter it's going to see more of that snow as we have uh, that next Pacific storm that's going to make its way down across the southern tier of the United States, following pretty much the same path as the last few storms that we've seen over the last previous weeks. Here we are as we track our storm as we get into Thursday and into Friday night. We're going to be seeing that stripe of heavy snow, and that's going to primarily be across the Midwest here, Minnesota, Wisconsin, down through Iowa, Missouri, the Dakotas, Kansas, and into Oklahoma, and that snow is going to extend down through portions of Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and up to upstate New York. And here we are as we take a look at that snow later on this week, Thursday night through Saturday, that heavy, heavy snow. Uh, we can see uh, upwards to a foot or more of snow in some of this heavy precipitation. So a very snowy week across the northeast the Great Lakes, and the Midwest as well. We can even finally pick up a few flakes in New York City. So their snow drought is not going to be busted by any stretch of the imagination, and it's going to be very close to getting that snow in the city. You still could miss out, but you might pick up a, a inch or two, which is probably... There's some of the most snow they've seen all winter. It's been a very bad winter across the 95 corridor. And severe weather is going to be possible again as we head into your Thursday. Thursday night, we're going to be seeing that heavy downpours with tornadoes possible, damaging winds in excess of 75 miles per hour possible. I don't expect us to see a derecho with this but some very severe thunderstorms with tornadoes are possible. I think this is going to be more of a clusters of thunderstorms. I don't I was I think we'll see a line of thunderstorms eventually, but initially we're going to be seeing thunderstorm clusters. Hence the reason I think we'll see tornadoes because when you get clusters of thunderstorms, it creates lots of outflow boundaries, and those outflow boundaries can lead to a lot of wind shear, and we're going to have a lot of shear in general because of that strong southerly flow, and we have our dry line to the west across portions of south of New Mexico and West Texas, we're going to have that dry line that's going to contribute some of that wind shear and dryness that's going to interact with that heavy, deep moisture coming up off of the Gulf of Mexico. Here's what we expect to see. Uh, this is what we saw with those tornadoes. We saw um, a lot of buildings destroyed. We saw that 114 mile an hour wind gusts in West Texas as measured by Mesonet. We also, we saw some tornadoes across Oklahoma, a lot of damage. It was pretty impressive to see those tornadoes. And we even see saw a, 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 a EF4 tornado in Dayton, Ohio. So again, a lot of severe weather occurred last night with that severe with that storm system. My name is Mr. G. That was your weather forecast. Thanks for watching this video, and I will look for you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.